What's up everybody, my name's Dan and welcome to the vault. Dova King, Dova King, Dova King. Today on the vault I'm very happy to be doing my first game review and what better game to start off with than Skyrim. Winner of multiple Game of the Year awards and has a massive gamer following. The story is pretty straightforward. You start off the game being able to choose from a wide variety of different uh, races of characters, from orcs to different variations of, of an elf to uh, a feline like creature called a Khajiit. You are given so many uh, of these choices so that you are able to pick a character that suits your kind of gameplay. Now, it's worth looking through each character and their attributes so that you are able to pick the best game for yourself and that's so you are able to pick the kind of game you want to have with Skyrim. The levelling system uh, adds to this but I will touch on that later in the video. So the game opens with your chosen character uh, being escorted to his or her execution uh, and after some dialogue as you're about to take it in the neck quite literally a dragon appears. You are then tasked with killing this dragon, it escapes but through this you earn your freedom and you are sent on a mission to Whiterun to tell the Jarl there, he's like a head of state, that the dragons have returned after so many years. After yet more dialogue, you are sent to kill the same dragon, pesky little shit, uh, who was terrorising uh, Whiterun. You inevitably uh, defeat the dragon, and after yet more dialogue with the Jarl of Whiterun, you learn that you are the dragonborn, and that through the power of the Thum, you are able to use mighty words of power to defeat your enemies. After a lecture from the Jarl, because apparently he's your, he's your dad now, he, he, thinks, he thinks he knows what's best for you, you are told to go and see the Greybeards who can train you in this newfound power and teach you to be the best Dragonborn that ever was. Now here's where the game really starts and opens itself up for you as a gamer. You can decide to go and see the, the Greybeards right away, or you can decide to just go off and explore the many caves and ruins that the game has to offer. Or why not go and complete one of the many hundreds of side quests in the game, from uh, the Thieves Guild to the Mages Guild, all the way to hunting down vampires. There is a lot of fun and intrigue to be had uh, just exploring the game and exploring your surroundings in the game. Also, if you're a bit OCD like myself, you'll really appreciate that feeling of completion uh, from doing even the smallest side quest. This game is absolutely huge. Uh, I spent hours engrossed in it and, and leveling up my character. The leveling up system is quite an interesting one. The system allows you to pick which attributes you want to make stronger. So you decide if your character is say a warrior type good with two-handed weapons or or say a, a sorcerer type good with destruction magic, uh, restoration magic, etc. When leveling an attribute to 100 in Skyrim you have the choice to make that attribute legendary and if you make it legendary it reverts that certain attribute back to 15 and you get the points back that you use to improve that certain attribute. You can use these extra points to improve an attribute that might be lacking and then you can start improving the former attribute from scratch. However, despite this, the progress of my character slowed considerably around the level 60, 70 mark. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys had this same problem. Uh, let me know down in the comments whether you did or not. Having said that though, the, the world in which this game is set is absolutely breathtaking. Uh, from the snowy landscapes all the way to the deepest, darkest, murkiest cave. Um, there would be many times where I would just stop my character and have him look around at the <coughs> surrounding landscape or just look up uh, uh, at the stars above. It's truly, truly beautiful, the amount of detail uh, and colour that went into this game. However, as can be expected with a game of this magnitude, there are a lot of bugs and a lot of uh, glitches, especially if you're playing this game on, on, a, on a console. However, I, I have heard that uh, if you are playing on a PC setup, that the bugs and glitches are much, much easier to fix. The glitches and bugs certainly don't ruin uh, the game. Uh, but they can become quite frustrating at times, especially when uh, one of these glitches or bugs leads to uh, not being able to complete a side quest or a mission, which sends the OCD in me absolutely bloody bonkers. The game is also prone to crashing. I mean, it only happened to me a couple of times, but 
any time it happened, it really took me out of out of the experience and out of that that world. This game is also that big that there's always something to do, and this might be a divisive statement, but at times it felt uh, it felt too big, uh, overwhelmingly so. You will never finish this game, uh, you'll never complete it 100%, at least not in the conventional sense. There are always new quests being generated by, by NPC. Despite these very minor setbacks, Skyrim is still a fantastic game, uh, made even better by the strong Viking themes, uh, the inclusion of the dragons and the inclusion of the words of power. The soundtrack is choral and epic, especially when you're when you're fighting a dragon. It really just chucks you into the game and chucks you into the to the fighting. The main storyline is a little short. It leaves it leaves a little to be desired, but there are so many other things for you to do in this game that it's not really going to matter. All in all, this is a beautiful, massively detailed uh, open world game that will keep you exploring for hours. Now the gameplay can get a little monotonous but there really is something for everyone in this game. So much so that if you don't feel like going out and fighting various nasties in caves then you can build your own house, settle down, get married and just live the quiet life. No more fighting those pesky Falmer. Um, but as always, let's go to the blackboard and see if this game, Skyrim, belongs in the vault. What's up guys, welcome back to the blackboard. It joins us here after seven years of Hogwarts. We still do not not have any chalk. So again, we use the power of imagination. And we're here today to see if Skyrim belongs in the vault. So first question, was this game entertaining? Was I bored at any point while playing? I have to say, it's really entertaining. There's a lot of things to do. Uh, but as I said in the previous video, there are times where it can get a little monotonous and a little boring. But having said that, the overall game itself is very entertaining. Uh, you'll never be bored for things to do. Uh, you'll always find something new to do in the game. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a tick. Question number two. How are the game mechanics? Was it easy to play? Was it easy to pick up the controls? I have to say 100% yes. It was easy to play. The controls were really easy to pick up in the first hour of playing. Uh, it was really easy to go in and out of the menu systems and equip weapons and equip magic and that kind of thing. So for that, I'll give it a tick. Question number three. Was the storyline any good? Did it make me laugh? Did it bring up any emotions? Now, as I've said, the main storyline within the game was not a great storyline. It left a lot to be desired. But as I've also said, there are many other storylines within the game that, uh, that you can do and that has uh, a better storyline than the main storyline. However, this question focuses on the main storyline of the game, which was a little lacking. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a cross. Question number four, and very important. Was the game good value for money? Did I get a lot of gameplay from it? 100% yes, it was well worth the money I spent on it. And I got at least over 100 hours of gameplay from it. So for that, that is a tick. Question number five. Would I recommend this game to my friends and you lovely subscribers? Again, 100% yes, I'd recommend it to my friends, to my subscribers. If you are a new gamer wanting to get into gaming, this is a perfect game to start off with. Uh, if you are already a, an avid gamer, this is still a great game to go back to. Um, it's just a very enjoyable game. It's well worth the money. Uh, you'll spend a lot of time with it, uh, and you can always, as I said, go back to it and do and find new things, new and interesting things. So for that, I'm going to give that a tick. So there you have it, guys. Skyrim will be going into the vault. And if you like what I'm doing here, guys, and you like what you see, and you're excited for future reviews and uh, things to come, then please like and subscribe down below. And until the next video, peace and love, my dudes.